Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Rare photographs of Logan and his wife Michelle are shared by Janelle Brown. Sadly, Logan Brown, the son of Janelle Brown, and his spouse Michelle Petty are not interested in being in the TLC spotlight. Although they both have Instagram accounts, neither of them is open to followers from other Sister Wives fans. Thus, fans hardly ever get to see any new images or videos of the former TLC. New images of Logan and his wife are usually exclusively shared by other family members who have public profiles, so Sister Wives viewers rarely see them. Many Sister Wives fans hope that before posting their family's images on social media, Logan and Michelle grant their consent. Given that Michelle occasionally appears in the comments section of these postings, it is reasonable to presume that they most likely Janelle do. has recently provided an update for those eager to learn about Michelle and Logan's status following their October 2018 wedding. She posted a few images from a recent photo shoot Michelle and Would Logan like had done on Instagram. unusual pictures. Navigate down to see them. Janelle Brown shared a few uncommon pictures of her son Logan and his wife Michelle on Instagram just an hour ago. She said the, the following regarding the thing picture. I have seen in a week. My children are the most amazing, so humorous and imaginative. On Sunday, Michelle, Logan, and Michelle's brother and wife went she to JC her message. For a Janelle urged her followers to look through and enjoy the pictures. The absurdity of the pictures, she continued made her feel dead. Six images in all, including her kid and Michelle as well as Michelle's brother and wife, Logan Brown and Michelle Janelle Brown only posted pictures of Logan and Michelle in the first two. Michelle had a shocked expression on her face when she faced the camera in the first picture. In the second picture, Logan leaned in to give his wife a kiss on the lips as she grinned and turned pictures to face of Michelle and Logan Brown posing with her brother. And her brother's wife were also included in the article. Supporters thought the pictures were funny and a little weird. Some admirers said they were a touch frightening as well. No, Janelle's Instagram account had another picture, but their heads seemed to have been severed. What do you think of the photo session that Janelle Brown posted online with her son Logan and his spouse? The Michelle. eight worst things Cody said ranked about Mary both before and after their split. Mary Brown is treated poorly by Sister Wives patriarch Cody Brown, and some of his remarks about her are really unpleasant. It appears that he is unaware of the social norm that prohibits males from speaking negatively about women, particularly after they have given birth. But Cody truly doesn't have a middle ground. He either veers between being passive-aggressive or outright mean-spirited, unless he's talking about his queen, Robin Brown. Sobin Robin undoubtedly taught him the art of passive-aggressive manipulation, but the blatant cruelty is entirely his Season own. 18 may disagree with Cody, who has been channeling Darth Vader for years, but it appears like he thinks Miri deserves the very worst treatment possible. Probably an attempt to make himself appear decent, his attempts to portray Miri as a less-than-human. He doesn't accomplish that when he gets down. In fact, he demonstrates to the public how his attitude ruined the multiple marriages of the Brown family. Theory is a single woman off-screen, and her recent weight reduction success is unmistakable evidence that parting ways with Cody was the right decision. Still, Although his Cody hurt from Sister Wives hurt. season 18 feels that Mary cheated on him. He has done a lot to hurt her. Though Mary had her reasons, she did. Still, he was ready to overlook it all in exchange for a few chewy, delicious candies. And Mary gave him a mouth-watering assortment of Rice Krispie cookies, one for each year they had been married. His heart warmed. That was considerate. And even though the gesture made him weaker, it wasn't enough to convince him to stay with her in the end. Technically, she did leave. But in all honesty, he checked out for Mary ago. to bake for this man. Robin had to remind him to give Mary an S'mores at the family Bobby QQ. Robin loudly whispered to Mary, who heard the entire exchange, that Cody ought to bring her an S'mores. It turned out to be another instance of complete humiliation. This vicious attack reminds me of another brick in the wall, a melancholy Pink Floyd rock anthem. For all intents and purposes, Cody could be singing all in all, you're just another brick in the wall. By writing on the wall, he meant that his relationship with Mary was terminal. He voiced his opinion throughout the entire fiasco involving Mary's to move into an as-yet-unrealistic barn with a loft, 
she was insulted and departed. There was where he intended to keep his motorcycles and marry. Nothing else needs to be said about this. The negative is self-explanatory. Under the pretense of attempting to patch things up with Mary, Cody has a really bizarre tendency of trying to make her feel uncomfortable. The barn dominium incident is a prime illustration of Cody's lack of manners. He conveys his true sentiments to Miri by making him feel as insignificant as an abandoned item. He acts as though he is this worried is about justifiable and classic Cody. It's difficult to support him or see his side when he acts in this way. He's simply being unkind. Cody's biting remark effectively emphasizes his lack of gentlemanly manners. Cody acts well around Robin, but he would definitely turn on her too if she crossed him. Robin is skilled at dealing with the patriarch, who might not be that great of a prize. Robin is aware that she cannot be overly strict. She uses her formidable tools, tears, the previously described passive aggression and feminine cunning to achieve better outcomes. Cody has admitted that he feels compelled to conceal their romantic tension from Mary because he is unable to resist Robin's attraction. He lashes out at Mary while gushing about Robin, as seen by his vulgar confession Cody that he engaged in a public her. relations battle both on and off TV, and he isn't afraid to disparage Mary. He has years of experience doing it. But everyone who's seen the latest season has witnessed Cody at his most insane on screen, he has fallen apart and is blaming everyone else for his troubles. He's demonstrated several flaws that run counter to the alpha male ideal he seeks to propagate. His attrition campaign against his unloved former spouses is therefore Cody not having in his attempts to win his divorces. Christine Brown left with considerable grace, considering what she'd been through, but Cody was unable to summon the same kind of grace. He was excessively resentful and suspicious. This season, he's dangling carrots to entice Janelle Brown to stay. But it's brutally evident to her and everyone else that his heart isn't in it. He doesn't bother with incentives when it comes to Mary. Rather, he would rather humiliate her even more, as seen by his request for her to move into a converted barn that he, he owns to mostly be in love with her. From. People love who they love, therefore that's okay. They belong with the people who adore them. The true problem here, though, is that Cody seems to take pleasure in making Mary look bad. Is this retaliation for the regrettable sister wives catfishing incident that shattered their bond and caused its untimely demise years later? Perhaps so. Once more, Mary was only lonely. A nicer man would have pardoned her for this transgression that was visible to all. What was the reason behind her loneliness? Because Robin was Cody's obsession, that is, with no way out, Mary was virtually stuck in a polygamous arrangement. It is not supposed for women to depart. It is expected of them Mary to obey. Mary is doing well off-screen, despite Cody's uncomfortable and all-too-common criticism. She has even given up on the never-ending cryptic posts. She appears less emotional and is more present in the moment. After a relationship, Mary seems to be more herself. Still, she might fall in love eventually, just as recently Christine did. Mary may be extremely feeble at times, but it's easy to support her. She finds it difficult to stand up for herself and her rights. Instead, she hangs her head. She doesn't deserve the emotional torture she's received, Cody but she's not a bad on-screen remark that he can't be in love with by promising to always love Mary. He attempted to lessen the blow, but in reality, he doesn't. Once more, this is very evident. This kind of disclaimer makes him seem more kind.